Hi, I'm Otto for Bavarian Autosport. Today we're going to talk about the Sprint Booster. What is a Sprint Booster? Well, the Sprint Booster enhances the acceleration of late model BMWs and Minis. Most BMWs from 2001 on and Minis use a fly-by-wire throttle system. In other words, the throttle is electric. As we push the throttle pedal, which by the way, this one is out of a 2001 325, as we push the throttle pedal, it changes the electrical signal running through the control unit here. This is plugged into the engine management system and this signal tells the engine management system what you're doing with the throttle. It then sends a signal to the throttle body on the engine and controls an electric motor to open and close the actual throttle body and perform your acceleration. The amount of throttle opening is programmed through the engine management system by how much you're pushing the throttle pedal and the signal being sent here. You can't do much about that. You may have noticed that your late model BMW feels a little bit sluggish off idle and at other times when you're changing throttle settings. The Sprint Booster is designed to change that. It changes the signal that's being sent to the engine management system when you push the throttle. Basically makes it more aggressive as if you are pressing faster and harder on the accelerator at, than you actually are. And so it feels more natural since they're sluggish to begin with. Installation is very simple. It's just a plug and play installation. Here we'll install the Sprint Booster on a BMW with a slide-on style throttle. Notice the smooth mounting plate at the base of the throttle and the securing clip on the side of the throttle housing. Insert a medium flat blade screwdriver into the securing clip access port. Twist the screwdriver to depress the clip downward. With the clip depressed, slide the throttle assembly to the left, removing it from the mounting bracket. Note the slide ribs and the securing clip on the mounting bracket as well as the clip and slide receiver areas on the pedal assembly. We'll now remove the harness plug from the throttle. First pull the harness from the guide clip. Squeeze the plug's side tabs and pull the harness plug from the plug housing. Take note of the very small contact pins in the plug housing. Exercise care in removal and assembly. Here we have the Sprint Booster assembly. On the connection plug housing, notice the small white plug housing for the three-way programming switch. This is the three-way programming switch and harness. Insert the harness plug into the plug housing on the Sprint Booster. Plug the Sprint Booster plug housing into the vehicle harness plug. Carefully push the vehicle harness and the Sprint Booster up under the lower dash trim panel, leaving the Sprint Booster harness extension and plug housing in the same general orientation as the original vehicle harness was. Temporarily run the three-way programming switch and harness up along the side of the console and away from the throttle area. We'll now reinstall the throttle. Insert the Sprint Booster harness plug into the throttle plug housing. Route the harness along the throttle in the same manner as the original vehicle harness.
Install the throttle assembly onto the mounting base slide ribs. Push the throttle assembly onto the base until fully in place over the securing clip. The three-way programming switch can be mounted in any area of your choice. Here, we'll push the harness wire up under the console and mount the switch on the console near the shifter. That's it. We're done. No other changes, no other modifications. Go drive, have fun. Feel like you've got 50 more horsepower.